Welcome in the third lecture. In today's lecture, we learn how to create a new table, how to insert the records to the table, how to retrieve specified columns, how to retrieve specified columns using a license names, how to retrieve the annual salary and the annual salary plus commission. Uh, that is mean our today lecture is the first practical lecture on SQL uh, from start open run SQL. This is SQL editor and we can change from properties before connection. You can change the color background to white screen text black font size uh, 20 or 20, uh, 20 it is enough okay okay connect username hr password hr connected now by the command create table create you can write by small or by capital letter create table be careful in the uh, code because Oracle, if you have any incorrect, incorrect command, it will not be the, the database will not be created. Anyways, when you give the name, you give the name of the database according to the nature of the database. For example, we want to create a database for employee and you must to prepare the uh, fields, the types of the fields, the length of the fields. Here is the name of the database, E-M-P-O-L, for example, one one. One parenthesis, enter. Here are the fields. The field name is number from the type of the field number 20 comma the second field name the type of the field var character the size is 35 comma the third field address the type of the field var character var character this can be long, 40, comma, job, job, from also var character, var character, uh, 30, comma, salary, salary, in no number, of 10 and is the length of of the field comma last field one two three uh, four five six commission t o double m i double s i o n commission means the overtime or the Pulses from also type number number of n. And now we are finished the database creation. Here, this is the uh, the beginning. You must to uh, open and you must to close here. You must to open parentheses and close the parentheses at the end of the database that is mean uh, and you in each and at the end of each uh, line you must put comma 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 and then lastly semicolon semicolon and you can review your database before give enter i think that it is correct enter database created 
now we are create the database and now we can transmit to uh, to the second command how to insert data insert data by using insert command insert into insert insert into you can write by small or by capital letter insert into table name e m p o l one one input twelve and between two parentheses put the names of the fields we have six fields uh, separated by commas and all comma name comma uh, address address comma job comma salary salary comma and last is commission c o double m i commission double s i o -N. And now, by the command values, we can give the values for each field. Values, V-A-L-U-E-S, values. The, for the numeric data can be entered directly. For example, 2016-00121. But for the alphabetic data must be Enter between two single quotation. This is a single quotation, and here we can insert the alphabetic data, the name, for example, uh, Hassan Ahmed. Follows the quotation, comma, another quotation, uh, address, Sahar. Ah, quotation, comma, quotation, job, doctor, doctor, quotation, comma, here, salary, because it is uh, numeric data, no need for quotation, uh, 3,000, 3,000, comma, commission is, 300 plus semicolon for the end of the command. One row inserted, inshallah. One row inserted. No need to repeat all the command. Just press on the right arrow from the keyboard. It will be automatically repeated and then change the data. Only change the data, return back by the left arrow from the keyboard to the ID, uh, to the ID here, one, two, two, instead of Hassan, Ahmed, Ahmed Khalid, Ahmed Khalid, instead of Sahar, Ibri. Instead of doctor, engineer, engineer. Instead of 300, 400, 4,000. Instead of 300, 400, enter one row created. And repeat again by Press on the right arrow from the keyboard and return back to the ID or to the number here, number three. Instead of Khalid Ahmed, Khalid, Khalid Ahmed, Khalid Ahmed. Instead of every dream, you dream. Instead of engineer, let engineer. 400, 400, enter.
uh, again number four we said of Khalid Ahmed Fatima Ahmed and instead of Dremi Saham and instead of engineer teacher and instead of 4,000, 2,000. Instead of 400, 200. And last three card. Fatma Ahmed. Amna Ali. Amna Ali. Instead of Saham. Babura. Uh, instead of teacher, engineer or manager, manager instead of 2,000, 5,000 real and 500 and, and procreate. Now we are finished two objectives of our today lecture. Now we, uh, if we return to to the objectives, we create a new table. We insert records to the table. Now we retrieve a specified column. Specified column. First, we can retrieve all the data. As I said yesterday, in the data retrieval, data retrieval using only select command. Select command. And in today's lecture and next lecture, and the, uh, I think that for three or four lectures, we apply only on this command because it is very important and uh, it can be applied using different criteria like mathematical operators, like logical operators, special functions. But in today's lecture, uh, we retrieve specified columns and uh, annual salary, as I said. Select, select a star. A star, that is mean all the records. Select a star from all records and all columns, all columns, all fields. Select a star from table name, in pool uh, one one, in pool one one. Enter. These are all the data that I enter. Another, for example, I will not need all the uh, by click on the right arrow from in pool. For example, I need only the numbers and all. Only one field. I need only one field. And these are the number. For example, I need two fields, number, and here for the second field separated by comma, comma, and then the second field, name. Not necessary to, the, the fields to be sequential according to the uh, creation. Here, in the creation, the name came directly after the number. I, uh, I can retrieve the number and job. I can retrieve the name and job not, uh, not sequentially. Uh, select instead of number. I can select name. With the name, I can select job. Job. These are the names and the jobs. This we mean by specified fields, specified fields or specified columns. Huh? 
select, select, and these are the specified columns. This, the name, and the job are the specified columns. I mean by specified columns, determined columns. Uh, in the implementation, in your assignment, I give this uh, uh, question, or I give this implementation, or I give this practice on the last assignment. Instead of yesterday, we said that you can use a license name. Here, when we create the database, here are the names of the columns. NO, name, address, job, salary, commission, and so on. And we, when we return, when we retrieve the data, we use the same names. Select NO, name, select name, job, and, and so on. The alternative, you can use alterna uh, the a license name, you can use alternative name. Also by select command, select. First, you must to put the, the, the name of the field, the real name of the field, for example, NO. And then write the command as as is used to give the license name. And here you can write the, the names of the license name, the names of the field, the alternative name. For example, ID. What does this mean? This is mean that the ID is the alternative name for the NO. For example, in a set of name, no need to write the command as again. Directly give the the new uh, the new name. For example, instead of name, write my name. My name. And from from impol one one semicolon. From why there is a, a mistake from keyboard not found from what is the mistake here name my name yes there is the new name must be without yes here is a I will show you what is the mistake the new name must be without space. There is no space here. Okay. This is the, the original name. This is the alternative name. Here, this is the original name. This is the alternative name. As I said, no need to write the command as again. And the end. And here. Yesterday I said that the alternative names, the names that given during the runtime. This is the runtime during retrieving the data. But the names of the fields will not be changed here in the table. That is mean is still uh, the original names of the fields. This is for a license name. In we return to our last uh, semester and see the Allah, the name, the assignment, for example, where is uh, COPPO 40 uh, projects, projects, where is projects, this is projects, there is assignment, com, updated com to 70, assignment. See, this is the task one, huh? create a database from six field, 
This is the database creation from six field. This is the database creation from six field. Because that I said that today lecture is very important lecture. Huh? What is task two? Task two. Task two. Use insert into command to insert five records in the table. This is the answer of the quit the task two. That is mean now you you get ten marks uh, in ten minutes. Uh, this is the answer of. And now there are different questions in data retrieval. Using SQL commands to perform the following quit operations. Retrieve any two columns. I am not determined to you. Here, there is a retrieving of, here, retrieving of two columns, and O and name. Here, retrieving another two columns, name and job. Okay? What he said <laughs> again. Uh, retrieve any two columns or three columns using a license name. Here is the retrieving of two columns using a license name. We return back to our objectives. We finish create a new table, insert the records to the table, retrieve specified columns, retrieve specified column using a license names. We have only two Another operations, retrieve the annual salary. The annual salary, that is means the salary uh, multiplied by 12. Select, select 12 multiplied by salary, salary from in pool, in pool one one. This is the annual salary. If we compare, we can say that if we compare between the normal, the normal or the actual salary and here, 3,000 multiplied by 12 is 36,000. Four multiplied by 12, is 44 and so on okay the last is annual salary plus commission we return back to the ferris here this is the annual salary plus commission plus plus commission c o double m i double s i o n annual salary plus commission this is the annual salary plus commission. And now we are finished our implementations in today's lecture. If we return to the lecture objectives, we create a new table. We insert the records to the table. We retrieve specified columns. Retrieve specified columns using a license names. Retrieve the annual salary. We retrieve the annual salary and the normal salary and the, the annual salary plus commission. And now I can uh, uh, see if you have a questions, I can answer you. Thank, thank you for listening. If you have no question, I can stop recording and return to you again. Stop recording.